what's up youtube welcome to my channel holistic beauty i'm empress queen your reader your guide and i'm here with another pick a card reading if you're new to my channel you're welcome to subscribe um all my social media information how to book a private reading with me is down below in the description box as well as the timestamps and the timestamps are also in the comment section so just take a deep breath pick a card and enjoy will I get married to? This is a viewer's choice. I've had several viewers and subscribers ask for this. So I had to make this extra thick, extra juicy for y'all to see who is the person you would be married to. Okay. So in this pick a car, you're going to get some of their features when you will be marrying them, where would you possibly meet them, um, what type of person they are, how they would treat you, how they would act, those type of things. You will also get channel messages in the pile as well as from out of the bowl and also some advice personally for yourself. So I wanted to thank everyone that has been following me on Instagram. I thank everyone that has subscribed to my channel and that is following me on TikTok. I really, really appreciate it. I love each and every last one of you. This has been a beautiful journey um, being a psychic on YouTube. And I just thank you all for your support, even through hacking. Yes, you guys, my page, my Instagram page got hacked. And so now I have a new one and I have to build all over again. So the new one is down below. So if you're still following that other one, if anyone's coming to you, asking you for money or doing spells, first of all, I do not do spells at the moment. Um, I never come to you and ask you, do you want a reading? I'm always open to those that are needing and wanting a reading from me, not the other way around where I'm asking. So if anyone's inboxing you that from that old page, asking you for, do you want a reading or spells? That is not me. I do not conduct myself like that. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. We have four beautiful piles. We have pile one L. We have pile two O. And we have pile three V. And we have pile four E. I want you to think about what you're looking for in love. Um, what type of you know marriage you want. Person who you might think it is. And all that good stuff. And just pick the pile you're gravitated to. All right. So let's go ahead and see who you're about to marry. What's up, pile one? For those of you who picked the L, who will you marry? So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to put the cards down. We're going to get um, the channel messages and then get into the cards. And then also some channel messages out of the bowl. So let's go ahead and get this pop in for you. So let's see here. Put this right Sorry if I'm all in the camera. So here are the channel messages. Let's go ahead and put down the cards first. We have fire. So your person could be a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Aries. So very strong Aries. We Oh my gosh. This person has Aries in their chart. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Or um, they may just be these characteristics right here very fiery very passionate type of person we have work so i feel like this person could be ambitious or you might meet this person at work we have true love so this is someone that would be like your true love we have long distance from some of you take what resonates this person will be from another country from where you are another city another state um, across the city. This could be a short long distance or um, they could be long distance from you. Um, okay. We have courting man. So this person is ready. When you meet this person, they will be ready for love. They will be done dating. This could be a very charming person. They may want to try to take you out a date. But if you can see, this person has on a business suit. So again, you may know this person from school or work or they work a lot. We have fun times. So you might meet this person on vacation, 4th of July, New Year's, that type of thing. We have passion. I could tell because they are a fire sign, this person may be very, very passionate. Oh, 
okay, when it comes to their lover and how they're feeling. Okay. So let's see here. We have reconciliation. So some of you may already know this person or this is recon reconciling with a soulmate or a past life lover. We have keep an open mind here. So some of you, um, this this person, you may not expect to be the person you marry or um, they may be different than what you're used to dating. We have free yourself. So Capricorn energy, they may have Capricorn in their chart. This may be somebody that you have freed yourself from in the past. We have flirt. We have very soon. And we have give this relationship another try. So pile one, a lot of you will marry someone you already know, okay? That you already know. Again, signs that I'm seeing here is Aries, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius is what I'm seeing. This person is very ambitious. They're about their coins, about their money. So I'm going to go ahead into the messages and then I'm going to go back into the cards. All right, so it says, not the current one you, wait, not the one you currently love. So the person you are going to marry is not the person you're with now. Um, if you are single and watching this, then there's no one there. So not the current person we have. They are a lawyer. So I could tell by the business suit. Some of you, your person will be a lawyer. They'll be into law. Okay. Um, we have, they are charming. I did say that they are a charming person. Um, this person is very passionate. And especially if they have Aries strong in their chart, Aries are very passionate people. Um, when they're doing something. They are hairy. They may have a lot of hair on their body or lots of hair. They have big eyes. Dating site, you might meet this person or have met this person on a dating site. And then I have some advice. I'm just going to put this aside here. All right. So, um, first of all, every person that I've seen in this picture has dark hair so your person has dark hair um they may be olive skin or um someone that is more of a tan tone um they may be average height i'm seeing someone that can have like a rest bitch face or a mean mug in other words their face looks mean it doesn't mean that they're mean this person is very serious but then can be fun playful they do have a temper warning with this mars here this person will fight for the underdog they do fight for they what they believe in they may sometimes be a know-it-all they may be a little argumentative when they're ready um this person person may like sports um they may be competitive they're very flirty i think you will reconcile with this person very soon or very soon coming here um, this person likes to have fun. So they're balanced between, even though this person is a person that's about business, they like to work when they have their time off, when they're away from work, this person loves to relax. They're very sportsy. So this is the type of person that will like go on a boat, play sports, watch sports. I'm getting very competitive vibes. Skiing, I'm also hearing, I'm also seeing like jet you know, you they sit on the little motorcycle on the water. They like a lot of water. So I'm seeing something about a beach or a boat. They may have a yacht. Um, if this person um, doesn't have a lot of money, they just like to go to the beach. Okay. But I see that this person loves to work. They love business. Um, what else I can see about them? Keep an open mind. So I think... This is somebody a lot of you may have overlooked or you've met this person before. This is not someone that is new coming back into your life. This is someone you overlooked and you will you will be able to have a second chance with them. And this person will be very balanced for you because they will have a lot of passion for you. If you see the way this man is holding you, so I feel like this person does miss you. They probably still have feelings for you too as well. Um, you might have rejected this person or this person could have rejected you. But somebody freed themselves from this connection. Someone was a bit choosy. There may have been one option. There could have been a third party situation going on. 
um, where this person had options to pick between you and someone else and they might have went off with someone else. Take, take what resonates, you guys. But that's what I'm seeing for the person you're about to marry um, about them. I'm trying to see if there's... And then when. So let's talk about when you will meet this person. Now, with, when it comes to the when, you guys, I personally, as a reader, don't really like always doing about, oh, in the next three months, in the next year, five months from now, in August. And the reason why I don't like doing that is because things are changed based off people's actions, based off yours, based off the person that's involved. So I necessarily, for a general reading, I don't really like giving too many time frames. But there is another way that I like to do this because this is based off your actions is when this can happen. And it says divine timing. Divine timing is at play here. So you will meet with this person or reunite. Wow, can't make this up. With this person when you least expect it. Be patient and watch out for synchronicities. You may start dreaming about this person. Um, you may start seeing things that you used to do with them or certain songs. You are going to start noticing signs when this person is returning into your life. When you start to dream about them, when you start to hear music you might have listened to about them or together or things you used to do together or something about interaction, that's when you will... will um, meet this person or reunite with them and if this is someone you don't know which i feel for this pile this is someone you already know very strongly um but if it's possible a small amount of you might meet someone that you you may have seen them around but you don't really know them then something significant about when you used to see them around will pop up okay so all right let's go get some advice for you now the reason why I'm doing advice for you is because this will help to push you closer to that husband or that wife that you seek. All right. So we have you are gifted. You are very intelligent and talented. This is something that you need to know. You may be doubting yourself, especially if you've been single for a while. I know people tend to doubt themselves sometimes when they've been single or maybe you've been hurt in the past. But if none of those things, Spirit just wants you to know that you're gifted and you're very talented. Don't doubt yourself, okay? This person will also feel like you are amazing and talented um, and they'll be very passionate about you. So that's what, that's the person you are about to marry, Pile One. I hope that this helps you. If you want more information or if you want a private reading, you're welcome to book a private reading with me. Follow me on social media. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell, okay? So bye, sweeties. Talk to you later. Love you guys. What's up, pile two, for those who picked the O? Who are you guys going to marry? Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put the cards down go into the channel messages, go back to the cards to see what else information I can get. And then we're going to go ahead and get some advice from spirit about your marriage or something in yourself that would help you towards meeting Mr. or Mrs. Wright. So I'm going to stick this right here. Put the channel messages to the side. And the advice. And then let's see here. So we have water. So this person could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have Pisces, very strong on Pisces here. And we have Venus, Libra or Taurus. This person is very attractive, very emotional. They also like to have their own way. They could be a bit manipulative, you guys. Emotionally manipulative. And they also like to use their looks, their beauty. They are aware of how attractive they are. Just to throw that out there. This person could be a little possessive or obsessive with the person that they are with. All right, we have travel. So you might meet this person when you're traveling or this person likes to travel. Or you might meet them in a, in a, in a state or a country where it's mostly warm. Um, if you're in the in the United States, it could be Florida, um, Texas. Um, where else has pomp? No, 
Florida has um, palm trees, California, Nevada, New Mexico, Arizona, places like that that's really hot um, is where you might need this person or in other countries that's very warm. Spiritual growth. So this person is spiritual or religious or they focus a lot on growth. Spiritual growth. They could be psychic as well. We have soulmate. So this person will be your soulmate. They're also looking for a soulmate. We have past love. Okay, we have young female. So you, there will be an age difference. You may be older than them or they may be younger than you. Or you may be younger than them. I said they may be younger than you. You may be younger than them or they may be younger than you. We have gifts. This person likes to give gifts. They would also view you as a person that's a gift to their life. And then we have children. So you may, um, they may have children already. Um, when you meet this person, very something significant about children. We have getting to know each other. We have chemistry. We have release your ex. We have forgiveness and learning. We have soulmate again. So this person is your soulmate. I'm going to put this over here. All right, as long as you guys can see. And we have deception. All right, you guys. So I feel like this pile again um is someone this is more so a half and half for some the other pile i felt like that was definitely someone that you know they knew but this pile some of you already have been with this some person some of you have children with this person possibly three um some of you don't have children with this person take what resonates um, you may have um, been in a relationship with them before or is currently in a relationship. Some of you, this is an ex-lover that you probably broke up with through deception, some type of lie that you caught them with in the past. Um, because what, when I said at the beginning that this person can be manipulative, um, this person could be someone that uses their beauty or their looks or their charm to get what they want. So they are, again, deceptive. Or they may feel this way about you. Take what resonates. But for some of you, you know this person already. But let's go ahead into the cards and back um, into this one. We have something new. Something new. Something very new and different. We have someone you least expect. They are spiritual and religious. can make that up. They have a large nose, so it may be broadened or long out large, but their nose is larger than the average person. They have long hair, so they may have, if they're a male, they may have dreads, they may grow their hair very long, they may have an afro, they may have, you know, a bob, you know, long hair to their back, you know, that type of thing. Um, you might have meet this person or will meet this person at work, social business, networking school campus or business trip with that travel you may meet them on the go and travel doesn't mean you have to go very very long distance it could be another city or another state or something like that all right so yes this is definitely somebody you knew you knew um for most of you it says cycles when you when you are ready to forgive them and let go of the past because this person has done some form of deception to you, um, you um, are not expecting to marry this person. You're not expecting um, to be back with this person. And this is something new, something different, because you guys might have broke up. This can also be somebody that you used to be married to, divorce them, and remarry them again. It's something very unique about this connection that you would never thought, oh my gosh, after the deception, after... The things you put me through, I'm with you again and we're actually married. There's a building trust. I am shocked. Okay, this will be a shocker to you, of extreme shocker. But I think this person is going to learn their lessons from this deception. And you guys were soulmate. They have gotten a lot of spiritual growth out of you guys breaking up, out of the connection when they were with you guys. And so this person will come back you know, as a better individual learning from the things that they've put you through in the past. Okay, so you guys, pile to, this is someone you know. Okay, and if you wasn't with this person, you might have was friends with them or a lover with benefits or, 
um, something very light and it could be also, I'm feeling for some of you, this may be something that's happened years ago. This is why you don't expect you to marry this person. So it could be the situation, the deception, the things they put you through in your life. Um, yeah, we're done, done. You may think you're really done with this person, but you're going to actually marry this person. And I think what you will marry them when they finish learning their lesson, when you're ready to forgive them for what they've put you through. That's when you will actually marry this person. All right, pile two. Ooh, jeesh. Wasn't expecting that. Let me go ahead and put these cards up. Let's get some advice for you. So we have share. When you share, everything feels happy. So guys, maybe some of you need to talk about what you've been through. Um, you know, share your pain, share your ideas. Um, go to counseling, that type of thing, to release the pain of what this person has put you through. Um, because there's some healing that needs to go on here when it comes to this situation in order for you guys to get back together. Um, I feel like this person might have put you through a lot. Maybe when you are ready, you can tell this person how they truly made you feel. Because when they return to you, they're going to be, they're, they're going to have a lot of spiritual growth. They're going to be more mature. And this is just, this is going to shock you, you guys. Even watching this, you're like, oh, well, who could it be? Or I know who it is, but I, nah, it never. And then boom, there you are. Like, wow, I can't believe it. This is still going to shock you guys. All right. So that is your reading pile two, the ones who chose the O. I hope you like it. I hope it gave you some information, some clarity, some guidance on who you're going to marry. If you like my readings, you're welcome to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell. If you want a private reading with me, I am available. All the information is down in the description box. Time stamps will be down there. My social media websites. Um, also, I do have a art what, um, Instagram. It's not in there, but it's Shelly Baby Artwork on Instagram. So check that out. I need all the support. I am an artist and I was led from spirit to do that. I want to do spiritual art paint to help bring healing and love to people. All right, you guys, peace out. What's up, pal three? For those of you who picked the V, who are you guys going to marry? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cards down, then go through some channel messages and go back to the card for more information and then give you some advice. So let's go ahead and see who your Mr. or Mr. Right, Mr. or Mrs. Right, excuse me, is. Okay, so we have Earth. So they're an Earth sign. Um, this could be Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. We have Aquarius. And we have Pluto. So they also could be a Scorpio. This person could be very stubborn, very fixed. So they may be on more of the fixed signs. Um, well, yes, Scorpio's fixed, Aquarius fixed, and also Taurus is a very fixed sign. Um, this person is very grounded. They don't waver. Um, they're very fixed on what they do. We have Karma here. We have Union. Let's see, guys. We have True Jim. We have Family. We have Twin Flame, ooh. We have Dark Male, so this person might be darker than you. We have Gossip. We have New Love. All right, some new love, you guys. <laughs> we have Trust. We have Codependency. Capricorn Energy is here as well. We have Let Go of Control Issues. We have Children. We have Heart to Heart Conversations. And we have past life relationships. So I think with you guys, this person that you're going to marry, for some of you, this may be a new love. For some of you, you might know this person already. There's children involved in family. I feel like you guys may know this person through a friend or a family member. Um, this is someone that you've met already or know. Um... There is a lot of gossip. I feel like this marriage will go through a lot of different ups and downs. 
Um, this is not going to be a, one of the smoother, beautiful marriage, but no relationship is smooth and beautiful. There's always going to be bumps in the roads, but as long as um, you and that person is willing to work together, together to get over the bumps, then you will be fine. But I think this is more so describing how your marriage will be. For some of you, you already currently are with this person. I feel like there will be um, some gossiping going on. Um, some codependency errors. So somebody may have a drinking problem or alcohol problem. Um, there may be issues with in-laws. Um, but it's also telling you to trust. So I think as long as you guys stick together, this this connection will always thrive. I feel like some of you may be become into a marriage where you're against your culture. So one culture may not like the other. Um... So there may be like um, differences in morals, differences in society, differences in culture, differences in background. There's a difference when it comes to you guys. Your family may not agree at first um, with this union that may cause some issues. Um, what else? I'm sorry to bring all this negative stuff up, but that's what I'm feeling. I'm not saying that your relationship would always be negative. I feel like this is, will be a marriage that is going to be um, something like you guys against the world, you guys will face a lot of obstacles together, but you guys will connect a lot. Heart to heart conversation is something that will be very important and beautiful in your connection. And also trust. I'm going to put this over here because I think these are the two things that will keep you guys together. Always communicating about what you feel. Um, I just think that you're going to be dealing with someone that could be a bit stubborn um, at times. So let's go ahead and look into the channel messages. For some of you, it's an ex. Wow. They are about business. Yes, I can definitely feel that. This person may be like a humanitarian, somebody who cares a lot about the community. So they may be a social worker, a cop, um, in law. Um, very, very disciplined, very more um, stern type of person. This person may be also in the military as well. Um, let's see what else. I can't make this up. They are very different from than your usual. So this person, if you've met them already, they're different from your usual. And I, like I said, I feel like differences is going to make a lot. Not everyone is going to agree with you guys being together, but you guys will agree that of being together. I feel like this connection will be something very unique. Um, but you guys, you guys together will value you each other. You guys together will be together against the world. That's the way I feel. They are short, so they could be shorter than you or they're just short than the average man or woman around the way. So again, you guys know this person. You may not be with this person at the time, but you do know them. They could be in your group cycle. You may have known them. You probably went to school with this person. You probably um, was raised around this person. Like, you know this person, but you may not be with this person. All right? So it says, you know, can make this shit up, you guys. You know them. You've already met them, and they're right under your nose. So this is someone, again, that you would least expect to marry because you might have known them for a long time. Um, there is some form of history here. You might have dated this person and went through a lot of different cycles. But I feel like a lot of people will not agree with this connection, but you too will. I see there is a friendship as well as a love will be here. It's not going to affect you too much. I feel like there's a lot of external problems that will bring the bumps in the road in this connection so um yeah that's the person you will marry um i'm seeing as far as like features they may have brown hair or red hair or hair lighter than yours um they may be darker skin than you um let's see here they're very um more like they dress comfortably so this is not a person that's going to dress up and be flashy this person is comfortable. You see how this guy's shirt is buttoned? It's like they're more about comfortable living. They're about comfort, security. So they have a lot of that earthy type of vibe. Even if even if their sun sign is not earth, somewhere in their placement between the between the Venus, the moon, or their rising, there's an earth sign. And if not, then they're just very all about 
being grounded, being material, not, they're not materialistic, I feel. I feel like this person is about comfort, stability, and home. If they don't have this, they will fight for it. And that's something you need to know, okay? They're very family-oriented. They care a lot about children, so they may work with children or like children, okay? Um, there will be a lot of karmic cycles that you guys will go through, but they, this will bring both of you guys' growth together. All right, so let's go ahead and get some advice. We have forgiveness. It's time to let go of anger or blame. So I think you guys will go through the different cycles. Um, there may be arguments, but you guys will always learn how to forgive each other and the people that's around. I don't think this is going to be a smooth, e easy marriage. Okay, you guys, but there will be a lot of love there. And I think your friendship and the bond you guys build will hold this connection together so that was for those of you who picked pile three i really hope that this helps you and give you clarity and guidance and information about the person you love you're welcome to follow me on my social media platform if you're new to my channel you're welcome to subscribe all the information will be below peace out lots of love and light i bless the union that you're about to get into To marry who is mr. or mrs. right for you um, so in this reading um, you're gonna find out about their characteristics <clears throat> excuse me who you're gonna marry um, things about your marriage some care like their features when you will um, meet them if you already know them or not and those types of things so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the cards down get into the channel messages and then some advice so let's go Alrighty, so we put this E right here. Alrighty. So we have air. So they could be Aquarius, Gemini, <coughs> excuse me, or Libra. Very I also got Capricorn. Okay. We have Libra again, so very heavy on Libra. This is a person that seeks balance. They may be undecisive at times. This is the type of person who either likes to give guidance or likes a person that can give them guidance. Told you Capricorn energy is here. So this person can be a Capricorn. Sometimes they have self-esteem issues. Sometimes they tend to doubt themselves. I feel like this person needs a lot of support when it comes to their lover. And then we have Saturn again, Capricorn. And you guys, I literally just shuffle these cards and put them down. I don't know what cards are in there. I like to keep surprised just as well as you so the reading can flow. But they have very strong Capricorn abilities here. Um, I also see that this person has is very idealistic. Like they have a lot of um, ideas and different things. They look at things in a they're a, they're a dreamer. They're not um, practical as much they tend to dream about things they come up with a lot of different ideas um but it's hard for them to pin things down so i feel like this person will need a lot of guidance we have friendship so this may be someone that you would start being a friend with first then into a lover we have triangle so you may meet this person when you're already involved with someone else um, you may have to choose between them and someone else. This may be two different people here as well that you will have a choice between Mary. You may be marrying again. Okay, for some of you, we have past life. So this person, you and this person has been together before. <coughs> we have open relationships. So when you meet this person, you guys may meet as someone like a homie, love, a friend, an entanglement, um, a situation ship, you know, just friends kicking it, having a good time. You know, or more like a sexual relationship. I think it would start off very um, simple, not thick, not heavy, and then turn into something much more. Um, but this person could also be um, a bit toxic at times. They're sneaky as well. We have young males, so there will be an age difference. They could be younger than you or you could be older than them. This person loves something about cars. They could be a mechanic. Um, they could be lighter than you too as well. They are kind of a bit of the show-off type. This is the person who likes to dress up or 
um, is very show offy when it comes to things. Some of you are dealing with someone that has two different personalities or there's two different people because I'm, I'm feeling two different energies. Some of you are dealing with someone that could be very sneaky, low profile, you know, in the house. What is it, an introvert? And then some of you are dealing with someone that's an extrovert. If it's one extrovert, if it's one person, then they may just have a double lifestyle there. We have destiny. So you're destined to meet this person. Whatever the situation happened, you're destined to be with this person. Um, you're also... The way things happen is destined. So they may feel like once you guys get into that stage, they're going to feel like they were destined to be with you. Because like I said, it may just be an unexpected friendship or lover, like sexual relationship that turns into something thicker. And we have dating. So you might meet this person just dating, like I said, casually, not expecting anything out of it. And then it turns into something a lot thicker. We have engagement. We have, this could be the one. Yeah, I feel like this person will meet you. Um, or you've already met this person and you're dating them. You guys are cool. And then they're like, wait, this could be the one. I, sh I, should, I should lock it down. We have finances and career. This person may have financial issues when you first meet them. You may meet them in a financial setting. We have express your love. This person will have a problem with expressing their love. I think they're shy at times, um, even though they could be a bit flashy. We have love yourself first. This person may travel a lot. This is somebody who can be sometimes flighty. Um, I'm getting a lot of like back and forth. So you guys will go through a lot of cycles. Like I said, they may come through, you know, have some sex and then dip off. It's 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 that kind of relationship. But there's a lot of romance will be in this connection here. Lots of romance, lots of passion. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the cards, the messages to see. We have your crush. So some of you, you could be crushing on this person. Your current partner. This could be somebody you're already dealing with. They love to dress nice. Can't make this shit up. They love nature. So this person likes to go outside. They like hiking. They like the trees. They like the birds. They like animals. They are darker than you. So I did say the person could be lighter than you, but the cards are also saying they could be darker than you. Um, maybe they're maybe you're lighter than them. Mutual friends. So you guys may meet through mutual friends. This is why friendships is also here. Okay, so when when you meet them, it's up to you. When you let go of the zero and get with the hero. Once you release the person who no longer serves you and what you desire in love. So this is where that triangle is coming from. Because like I said, in the beginning, you might meet this person when you're stuck on someone else. And that's why I'm seeing the two energies here. You may have an issue with picking both of them. One is laid back. One is comfortable. One is um, more homebody, more humble, more nature, children, animals, peace, love, and all that good stuff. And one is very um, business-oriented, um, very flashy, may have a lot of money. So I feel like you guys probably will be married twice for this pile. You may marry one person that is lighter than you or darker than you, and then you may might marry someone that is... Um, um, so one could be lighter than you first and the other one could be darker than you. I feel like you will marry one person and then marry another person. So you guys will be married twice. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you will. Um, one will have money and one will, you know, struggle with money when you first meet them. But you may meet them the first the same way, that kind of things, okay? So I hope I gave you guys clarity. I think I said all the signs here. Strong on Capricorn. Um, they may be in their sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or this could be them. Like I said, I'm getting two different energies here. All right. So take what resonates. Well, this person is going to feel like you're the one, um, when they meet you, both of them will feel that way. Okay. All right. So let's get some advice. You guys, this could be helping you or your situation. Simplicity. Put your energy into the basic basics and let go of obsessiveness. So try to relax. Try to enjoy life. You may be, um, especially if you're in a current relationship that is not working, it's time to seek your own happiness. 
is what I feel like. Go out and get some, get into nature, have some fun. I know it's hard during this time with us having, um, you know, the COVID and stuff like that, but um, go out and enjoy life for right now, especially if you're single. If you're with someone, you know, evaluate the pros and cons. Is this person meeting your needs? Um, those types of things. I just think you need to put yourself first. This is what I'm feeling in this card, but something in these words will give you advice. Something in these words will show you, you need to keep your life simple. You may be um, working too much. You may be overly thinking and you need to keep things very, very simple for yourself right now. All right, you guys. So powerful. I hope that helps you guys. I hope this has given you guidance and clarity as to who you're going to marry and some information. If you want more about it and you want more of a personal reading, you're welcome to hit me up for a personal reading. All my information is below my social media website. Also, I do have an art website with art spiritual work that I'm trying to get going. This is just for fun. I'm not selling my artwork. I just like artwork and I want to bring some healing and love to those um, that likes art. So it's Shelly, S-H-E-L-L. I-E, baby, B-A-B-I-E, artwork on Instagram. And I'm going to, I'm going to make sure I add that in my, um, in my information below. I'll try to add it as soon as I can. But you guys, thank you so much for, you know, watching this video. I hope you guys like it. Pop forward. Peace out.